This MCP is a true game changer. It is working very well for me and I felt very uh, compelled to create this video and share it with you guys. Basically, I did a few videos in, in my recent videos. I did cover a few different MCPs such as the Context 7 MCP, Superbase MCP, um, and we also discussed the Playwright MCP. Now, the problem with the Playwright MCP is the fact that for me, it uh, doesn't seem to work with cloud code, maybe because I'm using WSL. So I was looking for a new um, browser automation MCP and I stumbled upon this amazing MCP, uh, which is called Browser MCP. It has uh, many, many benefits. Well, basically what it does, it works in your browser. And the cool thing about this is that you add a Chrome extension that uh, this way, the MCP is going to take control. Uh, it's going to be a headful um, takeover, basically working in your own browser. So you're already logged in. Um, the likelihood of being of being flagged by the platforms is lower because you're not using a headless uh, Chromium browser and you're already logged in, as I said. So this is very valuable and it is working perfectly well. Uh, in terms of different um, capabilities that this MCP has. So first of all, navigation to a URL, going back, going forward, waiting, pressing a key, taking a snapshot, clicking, dragging and dropping, hovering above uh, elements, typing text, getting the console logs, taking a screenshot of the current page. So these are all actions that I believe are um, forked from Playwright. I'm not 100% sure that they are forking Playwright but definitely inspired by Playwright. And this is very valuable for many different use cases. So first of all, front-end testing, or if you're Vibo coding and building um, a solution and you want to analyze, for example, the console logs and understand what is wrong. And obviously also uh, just RevOps and uh, scraping and also uh, doing like browser automation, which I did a lot with RPA tools such as Microsoft Power Automate, but this might be a solution that um, might be able to, to substitute at least some of the browser automation workflows. Now, in terms of installing it, it's pretty straightforward. Not much to um, explain over here. You just go to documentation and you have all the instructions about how to install it. You need to set up the extension as soon as you want to start using it, you just need to um, connect over here. So I'm already connected, as you can see. And then you add the MCP to your browser, I mean, to your cloud code file, and then you can start rocking. So what I did over here, I uh, asked it to um, Go to my LinkedIn page, Yaron Bean, find my recent posts and criticize them as if uh, he was Dan Kennedy. For those of you who don't know, uh, Dan Kennedy is a very famous marketer and I also guided him to use the browser uh, MCP. So what he did, it uh, realized that I'm already in the correct LinkedIn page. Then it clicked on my profile. Eventually it scraped my free recent post, which you can see uh, over here. So one post was about AI agents in production. The other one was actually a post that I reposted about uh, the data leaks in ChatGPT. And the third one was an NTN, um, a post that I did about uh, the fact that I uploaded many NTN free workflows to the NTN uh, template library. And over here, Dan Kennedy uh, give, gave me advice or criticism for my post. So, Yaron, you're committing the cardinal sin of modern marketing. You're boring your audience to death with technical masturbation. I was I was pretty um, surprised that it used this word. I mean, obviously this is an topic, so I didn't expect this. Uh, criticism about the first post, which was basically me, <laughs> me publishing the interviews that I did with uh, Sandy Bassan from IBM, so you're doing what every other thought leader wannabe does, name dropping an industry circuit jerking. I sat down from Sandy Besson from IBM, who cares? 
your audience doesn't give a damn about your coffee dates with corporate executives. What's missing? Where's the benefit to me, the reader? Where's the pain you're solving? You're, talk you're talking at people, not to them. Kennedy's rule, people don't buy products, they buy outcomes. This is pretty precise, I agree. Second post was me reposting. Yeah, and he says, this one has some potential some potential because fear sells, but you're buried the lead. <laughs> you start with technical gibberish instead of grabbing them by the throat with your Google Drive isn't safe. The Kennedy fix starts with the problem that keeps them awake at night at 3 a.m., then explain how it happens. And the last uh, post, uh, the criticism for the last post was pure ego stroking. Look at me, I'm on the list. This is LinkedIn masturbation and at its finest. Your audience scrolls past this faster than a bad Tinder profile. So pretty bold, pretty bold, uh, great stuff. Now let, let's um, try another automation live. Go, go to LinkedIn jobs and find marketing automation jobs in New York. Use the browser MCP. Let's see what it does. I haven't tested this before, so it might not work. Yeah, I did test the MCP, but I didn't test this specific use case. Let's see if it breaks or not. As you can see, it already went to jobs. I'm not touching anything. Um, you see how it is adding the correct data, hopefully the correct data to the input field, input box, let's see. This sound means that it uh, finished. Let's see what it did. Oh, it's asking me for permission. As you guys uh, probably know, I added this um, small sound that it goes off anytime that um, Claude, Claude Code needs any input from me. So let's do this. Give him the permission, marketing automation. Now let's see if it finds the fact that it needs to change uh, Israel to New York as well. Yes, very good, very good. Let's see if he will remove no Israel or overwrite, I mean, or just append New York. No, it seems like it's clicking the X. And then it is going to write New York, hopefully. Very nice. Now let's see if it's able to move forward. Nice. Amazing. Now let's go back to the terminal. Great. Now I can see the location field is cleared and showing suggestions. Now I'll type New York in the location. Perfect. I can see New York location suggesting ap appearing. I click on New York, New York, United States to select it. Okay. And here's a summary. A summary. Excellent. The search has been successfully executed and I can see the results. The page shows um, 18,000 marketing automation jobs in New York. Here are the key findings, marketing automations. So top jobs listings, these are the listings and it gave me all the data. <laughs> this is crazy powerful. Let's find only remote jobs. Look, ideally with salary above. Let's see what it does now. So it's pretty slow, but it's uh, so far, based on my testing, it's uh, very robust. So in use cases that you don't need a ton of value or volume, it's, uh, it can be a very good solution because um, if speed isn't an issue and you just want reliability, so this could be very powerful and relevant. As you can see, it goes to the remote, it's going to click the remote uh, and sort by I mean, filter out only remote stuff. Let's see. 
we'll click it or not it probably will let's see but what you can do over here is after you created the browser automation you per can perhaps ask um, the MCP also to generate a Python script based on all the all the steps that it uh, has taken and then you can probably uh, speed up the process and do it in, in, in with uh, with perhaps more instances or even just with pure code so this can be more like for discovery phase understanding what are the elements as you can see here it's finding the elements and once you know all the elements based on the classes and IDs um, or XPath or whatever uh, way you are using in order to find the elements, you can start speeding, speeding it up with pure code. Instead of doing the browser automation, then you are at risk of being flagged by the platform, but this is definitely um, optional. Let's see what it does. Okay, salary. Never mind. I get. A, I guess that you get the gist. This is the, the main idea: is just implementing browser MCP, which is working pretty well. As I said, you need to install it very easily. Just come over here, add the extension to your Chrome. Then make sure you add the settings to your um, MCP settings file, and you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Highly recommend checking out this MCP. Until next time, keep on automating.